Yo, yo, what's going on? Y'all, it's your boy Devon Terrell, and welcome to another Help Me Devon plug-in review. And today, in this Help Me Devon plug-in review, I'll be looking at Isotope Neutron 4 and why I think that it's time for us all to have this plugin. Now, uh, Isotope was so gracious to actually send me the plugin so I can try it out, and I've been trying it out for a while, and I am absolutely in love with it, with the new features that they've incorporated, and one feature in particular that I think you are going to be so blown away to see. Now, I was lucky enough to sit down with Joakim from Isotope at NAMM this year, shout out to Joakim, and he gave me a little bit of information specifically about a feature that I was really, really impressed with. I'm gonna let him tell you a little tidbit about the plugin. Yeah, like there, there's some stuff that like, you know, is very similar and like right. for the returning Neutron user, like they'll feel like a lot at home, but right. you know, for somebody who's never touched our stuff, like that, that's that's what we're also trying to focus on. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Cause I use Neutron a lot. Like I use it, I was using the three of course, and the new one is four if I'm not mistaken, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There was one thing in particular I was using, I don't know if it's the Sculptor. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's the Sculptor. Yeah. I think that was like my, like my go-to, like that, yeah. like that I always use on instruments and stuff like that. That's awesome. Heck yeah. So, I guess, I, I guess like for Neutron 4, um, like one of the cool things about like Sculptor, right? So like, have you ever used tonal balance control? Yes. Okay, so you know how you can import like a target curve, right? Yeah. So now think about that and then doing that for like one track. Right, so like, let's say you have a snare drum, okay. and like somebody, like your client comes back to you, like, bro, like you, you killed it with this like mix on like the instruments, right. you killed it. Right. Can you get me the same snare tone that you did on the last one? Right. And then, God forbid, you don't have you don't have that session anymore because that was like way back. Right. But now, if you have the stems for that, right, you can take the stems like for that snare track, right. and then have that set as a target curve. So now you have like kind of like the compression settings, wow. the EQ setting, right. and then. Now sculptor, right? So then you introduce that back into it, right? And then you and know, you're good to go. yeah, it's basically. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so right now you either feel one of two things: either you're saying what, or you're confused. I'm gonna show you exactly what he meant and why I know deep down this is going to blow your mind. Let's get right into it. Okay, so basically, what Joe Keen was explaining was that you are going to be able to bring in a sound that you like, a metro booming kick, a, um, a Timbaland simp, any sound that you, are, uh, that you have access to, you're gonna be able to bring that into Neutron, play your sound against it, and it's going to tone match it. It's going to match the sound of that particular sound that you want it to be sonically. So basically, Right now, I have loaded up the piano from Holy from Justin Bieber featuring Chance the Rapper. And then I have my piano that I have. I like the way Justin Bieber's Holy sounds as far as his piano is concerned. So I want a piano that sonically matches that. Neutron 4 is going to allow me to do that. Simple and easy. Check this out. So first and foremost, let's play my piano right quick. This is my piano loop. And now we're gonna play this famous song, Holy by Justin Bieber and Chance the Rapper. Here's their piano loop. So what I love about that piano is how lush it sounds, how warm it sounds. I love everything about the tone of that piano. And I want that sound. Neutron is gonna allow me to do that. Let me show you exactly how it does it. Hold on one sec, just make sure you comment, like, and subscribe if you're enjoying this video. So sorry, have to do that, back to the video. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to open up Neutron on my loop. So let's open up Neutron. And I have four already because I was a fan for a long time. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this assistant button. And when I press it, it's basically going to create the process for me and listen to my audio. So I'm gonna press play and then I'm gonna hit this button. Okay, so it's analyzed my piano. Uh, it has a reference target for it. What you're seeing right now is basically the reference target in what Isotope has deemed for pianos. So basically it's saying that, hey, this is usually what the lows are for pianos. This is what the low mids are for pianos, high mids, 
and the highs up here. Granted, this is what they believe or this is what they see out of taking snapshots of a variety of pianos. What they see is this is kind of like the average. See it like that. What we want is that holy piano. We want to get the reference target for that particular piano. And that's what we're going to use. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go and press this button. I'm going to bring in the holy piano as a preset so it can kind of see or basically take that and uh, give us a reference target. And I'm going to press open. So this is the frequency response or the curve or the reference for the holy piano. This is exactly how it is. So you can see there's more of a bump in the low mids to lows. There's definitely a huge dip off in the high mids to highs. I'm going to turn down this tone match knob or excuse me, fader all the way because I don't want to do, do anything. I'm going to bring it up gracefully, excuse me, gradually, so you can hear it start to match the actual holy piano uh, that we want from Justin Bieber's song. Okay, watch this. Now let's play the holy piano. Guys, now I'm not saying that it's absolutely perfect. I'm not saying it's dead on, but my goodness, how close, how much closer did we get to the feeling in Sonics of that piano? Let's do that one more time. I'm gonna play the holy piano, and then I'm gonna play my piano, and then I'm gonna show you underneath the hood what just happened as far as everything. I'm gonna break it down a little bit more for you. So, the holy piano. And now, my piano. Now, the tones are so much similar now as far as where it was before and now. It literally took that piano, gave it that reference target as far as what the frequency spectrum was, and let us match it. Now, granted, we can add so much more to this. We can bring down the tone match to bring back some of the nuances of the old one. It's, it's insane. Let me show you what this thing did internally. So when we press the assistant button, what it allowed or what it did was it created all of these processes. It created compression. It can, it can create EQ. It created basically a processing uh, chain uh, that allowed it to match those particular settings. It used the sculptor. It used two compressors. And that's basically what it's doing internally. Now, what that also, uh, why that also makes it extremely powerful is because you can manipulate it. So if you feel like, mm, I need a little bit more release on that compression sound that I'm getting, according to Justin Bieber's, you can literally go in and tweak the sound uh, that the tone match has already created for you in that chain uh, algorithm that it's made. And it's doing it intelligently. And it's doing it on a case-by-case -case basis. So it's always unique when you bring in a specific sound into this thing. Guys, I think this is an insane feature to have. And like I said, you can do this with kicks. You can do this with simps. You can do this with anything. If there's a certain sound that you like a lot, as far as how it's sonic sound, you can literally bring that sound in, reference uh, reference the sound, and then match it with your new sound that you want. It, I think it's time for you guys to really get into Neutron, especially with Neutron 4, and give it a try right now. I'll leave a link in the description below for it. Once again, I want to thank Isotope for sending this over to me. Um, I really, really hope this helped. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And also make sure you visit helpmedevon.com at any time to get some of our vocal chains, presets, and templates. And also make sure you join our Discord community with a bunch of aspiring engineers like yourself. Leave a comment below letting me know what else you want to see as far as me uh, reviewing a plugin. And visit us at Help Me Devon if I didn't mention that already. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Until next time.